What's up, my wonderful world of YouTube? My name's Chris, and you guys are tuned into Motivated Living. Kind of looking like the Fragrance Express with my train stuff going on. I picked up a new hobby, so you're going to, in videos, a lot of them for now, you're going to see this in the background slowly as the process goes along. I may start doing videos showing you step by step how I'm building the layout, the diorama, whatever you call it. But today is something super special for you guys. Um, I have a Navitas Parfums. Discovery set. I got it in the mail uh, Saturday. It's it's almost been a week and it's been tearing me up to make time to be able to get in here and smell it. Uh, Arcanum Lotus Opulentus Discovery set. So I'm going to open this up, unbox it, smell it, give you my first impressions. So sit tight. I'll be right back. Welcome to Motivated Living. Change is on the horizon. All right, everybody. Welcome back. It's been a while. As always, my apologies for not uploading regularly. All my people who are still around, all you new people, welcome, welcome back. I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. And for all you guys who are, or who have been keeping in contact, uh, people I've met through here, through Facebook, through wherever, and just seeing how everything's going. If you look back at some of the older videos, I'm not too far back, there's been some not so good things going on. And we're just making the best of things and getting back on our feet, so to speak. Um, yeah, moving forward. But today, like I said, Navitas Parfums, the Discovery set. Steven, Red Alessence, I'm sure you all know who it is. If you don't, uh, I'll, I'll put a picture up here somewhere. I'll put a link in the description. Go check his channel out. Uh, very intelligent. He knows his stuff. So definitely worth taking a look. This came compliments of Steven, thank you, sir. I appreciate this. He reached out to me and, you know, someone I like to consider a friend. We talk. Uh, he's familiar with the situations, what's been going on, and has reached out. Just seeing how everything's going, you know, and I appreciate stuff like that. You know, the humanity of people caring. My last video was about love and care. Care is a very important thing. But this game, compliments of him. I didn't pay for these, just being canty with y'all so you know but I am going to give you my honest first impression on them so let's go without further ado that really isn't a review I'm just gonna give you my first impressions all right let's check this out now if you're familiar with the other Navitas perfumes in their presentation, at least the other two I've had, or have, I should say, they, they have a sleeve on top of the box. Pretty impressive. And there's where you can go, navitasparfums.com. I'll put it across. Let's open it up, dig right in here. All righty then. That's pretty nifty. I like that. There's a little card with them on top. How oh, cool, it has the notes on the back. I'm gonna try not to look at them. Not yet, I'm gonna look at them so I can tell you what's in there, but I don't have the best nose in the business. This is just a hobby for me. I'm a fragrance connoisseur. I'm not a true reviewer, you know, so I don't let any of this go to my head. You know, this is, this is a hobby. And fragrance is a hobby which has became a lifestyle. And that's really what it is. I, I like smelling good. Uh, some fragrances stand a chance, some don't. You know, we're all in different spots on our fragrance journeys. And I don't know, I like, I like the ride. I definitely enjoy fragrances. So let's start off, I'll grab, grab a bottle. There's no, no uh, particular pecking order. They got like little foam cutouts to hold the bottles in. That's pretty cool. See, I've got foam everywhere because this is going to be a roadway, there's a bridge, there's going to be trains all over. This is still a mess. I have a day off this weekend. Hopefully I can bring you another video and go on and start doing my plaster, plaster pair stuff and start shaping the rocks again, break out the airbrush. Um, I guess you can't ever expect something to be done right away with these. Little did I know how long and how much time goes into building this. You can see little newspaper balls here because I got tired of cutting all the foam and the bulkiness of it and I seen somebody on YouTube was showing me 
how they ball up paper and it gives you the basic form and then you put the plaster cloth over it and then you can shape it. It's kind of cool. I'm enjoying creating something. Uh, it helps in my mind. I see all the little masking tapes popping up. All right, we have Lotus. I already pulled the cap off. I'm scatterbrained today. There's the first one. Got a little label on the bottom, just like any other fragrance you would get. Fairly heavy. Definitely what you would consider a high quality decant. Just with the presentation you know, of it all. They went above and beyond to not just put a little tiny sample bottle and say, yeah, here's a little sample. So I'm digging how it comes so far. Let's get ready to dive right in. I like that. That is Lotus. I'm just going to go right to reading the notes. I'm not going to waste time sniffing it a hundred times and try to tell you what's in it. I'm going to read what what's really in there. And I'll tell you if I can smell it. Right off the gate, I do smell apple and pink pepper. These are the top notes. It says, luxurious, complex, and refined. With top notes of apple, pink pepper, and lemon. I get the apple and the pink pepper. I'm not really detecting the lemon. It's very well blended. It's smooth. Heart notes are rose, cypriol, natural oud, and patchouli. Yeah, I can mildly detect a rose, but this isn't a rose-heavy fragrance. The oud's there, but it's not an oud-heavy fragrance. And same with the patchouli. So it's all, everything's hidden really well so far. Base notes are amber, woods, and oak moss, which I enjoy being, you know, in fragrances. Seems like it would be very uplifting and refreshing in the cold weather. I don't know. In the summertime, it seems like it would work too. I want to go heavy on them. This is a heavier fragrance, but not heavy like Slap Yo Mama heavy. The perfumer is Chris Carbonell. Man, I really like this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I like this one a lot. That is Lotus. Moving right along, because I don't want to keep you here all day, and I do have to go prepare for work which I just did one part of it. I have to do another leg, get to go under the ground. It's fun times. Um, Opulentas is the next one. Qualis Rex Talus Grix. And the lot is said, Esquam Videri. I may have said that wrong. Yeah. So it says, like king, like people. The Lotus one says, to be rather than to see. a little higher on this side with this one. I know I'm gonna be close to my other part of the arm. But... Woo! Doggy! That just busted me in the chops. That's strong. It says, Opulentus, distinguished, elegant, modern. Mm, I don't get the modern vibe. This kind of gives me a, a throwback old school kind of vibe. Like something I would have smelt as a kid on an older gentleman. Uh, dressed up nice on their way to make some money. Hmm. This one is strong. Strong, strong. Like, I'd probably better stay away from my wife for a little bit strong. My wife has COPD, so I have to be very careful what I wear. And if it's too much, certain ones I love, and I can't even come in the house with them unless I, she sent me out on the bike or out on a trip I go, go run an errand until that calms down, baby. And I only do the boom, 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 boom. It's my rotation. That's what I do. And then when I'm testing something, I'll, I'll spray on my arm so I can smell it throughout the night and see how it's changing, you know, feel them notes, that, that pyramid we got. Mm. This one says top notes are neroli oil, verbena, lavender, which I definitely am detecting the lavender, and yuzu. Heart notes are juniper berry, which I kind of do feel the, the some berry in there too. Uh, cascarilla, freesia, and orris. Uh, your base notes are ambergris, palisander, rosewood, patchouli, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla absolute. Um, I could kind of feel the rosewood and patchouli, 
but I'm an untrained nose, mind you. I've just been wearing fragrances for a while. I'm not, I'm not an expert on this stuff, okay? Hmm. That one is, this one is more daring of the two. Um, I would be careful with this guy because this one is strong. The perfumer is Bertrand. Uh, Bertrand, I'm sorry if I say this wrong. De Chafour, De Chafour? I don't know. It's, yeah, yeah. But Mr. Bertrand is the perfumer behind this. Hmm. I don't know if I could pull this one off. Me, I'm just saying me. But I'm gonna try, because I'm gonna give these full wearings too. Always give, first impressions sometimes can throw you left field. Just like if you spray it on paper and smell it, you're cheating yourself. You're doing yourself a for real injustice. It needs to be on the skin. And not just for two minutes. You need to actually give it a chance. Sometimes the first chance ain't going to cut it. You need to come back and revisit it a time or two. I've had plenty that I've almost sold. And something told me to stick them in the back of the cabinet. Because I learned the hard way, I'd, I'd wear them once and be like, oh, no, this ain't for me. And I'd sell them. Then I'd smell it later or something. Like, man. And I ended up buying it again. So put a butt. If you don't like the first impression of it, give it another shot. And if you still don't like it then... And you can afford to do it, stick it somewhere, forget it, let it macerate a little, let time do its thing, and then revisit it. And a lot of the times, more than not, I pulled them back out, sprayed them, and have been wild. Like, I'm glad I kept that, you know? They, uh... But I'm definitely going to have to give that one a, a wearing. This one, for sure, for sure, I might make this my scent of the night. I like that a lot, a lot. Last but certainly not least... Hope I'm not boring. Y'all, you want to make faces or something? Yeah. We've got Arcanum, and it says Carpe Noctum Seize the Night. Let's come over here. I don't know if y'all see that atomizer. It's like a metered spray. That's pretty, pretty groovy. My wife has one. It's a Tiffany, and she'll press down on the atomizer. You know, usually we got to go. Ch -ch. It's she can do her whole arm, and she does. She'll do her whole arm, and then complain about me smelling too strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, shh, shh, shh. fire hose dripping wet when she comes out the bedroom. <laughs> like, maybe I don't have COPD, but <laughs> but yeah, it has a very good atomizer on. Ooh, I almost get some like this. Reminds me of some food. Like I used to have a beard. A lot of times I grow up, some of y'all remember, but I, I make prayers throughout the day and a lot of times I would freshen up, do my beard, and and then you carry that throughout the day. It was oils. They weren't fragrances. It was just you buy it in a, a little jar and it's pure oil. You don't want to get it on your clothes or nothing. And, uh, this gives me that feeling. Like the, almost, yeah, like the oud. Not a stanky oud though. But more of like a earthy oud. And it almost kind of reminds me of like oud and myrrh together. I like that. It brings back some good memories. Uh, let's read the notes on that one. I have to keep looking because it doesn't say on the back. Apolentis? Is that what I'm on? No, I'm on Arcanum. The one in the middle. Mysterious, rich, addictive. Top notes. Cinnamon. Coconut. And frankincense tears. Frankincense. Okay. Maybe like some oud and maybe I'm getting like the frank and myrrh without the super sweetness that I used to get. Because I used to get the oils like that. They're very uplifting to me. Hmm. Okay. Heart notes are labdomen, osmanthus, and laotian oud. Okay. Base notes are dark amber woods, vanilla, and tonka bean. I'm not there yet on it. Uh, your perfumer is George Lee or Jorge Lee. George, J-O-R-G-E, Lee. Let's see if I can. That one's calming down already. That one's still loud as can be. This one's a monster. Like beast mode, beast mode. Uh, the opulentus.
the safest out of them all that I think would be most mass appealing out of the three would be the first one, the Lotus. All these seem like they would do really well in cooler weather. And if you were to wear them in warmer weather, I'd definitely tone down the sprays that me, if I was wearing them. And with the cooler season being upon us, where I am, kind of came at a better time to where I can start testing these in the cooler weather. So my favorite would be, right now, would be the Lotus. I see myself wearing that the most. And then the Arcanum. Uh, I don't know if the Arcanum would be a everyday driver. It could be. Almost seems like a special occasion. And then last but not least on my list would be the Opulentus. That would be more of the occasional. I could see myself wearing this Lotus all the time. I like that a lot. I said I may make this my scent of the night. So take that with me tonight. And give it a run. But that's that. There's these guys there. Fabulous job. I like them. They all smell very high quality. Uh, they weren't rushed. Doesn't seem like. Very well blended. Not, no note in it. Except for the, the feeling I got on this side. Which it threw me just a little. Nothing really stands out above the rest. So if it shows the craftsmanship of the fragrance or everything is just blended really well. And it's this side I'm starting to see it move down the notes. Mm, that was fabulous. So that's that. I'm going to quit taking up your time, quit boring you. I appreciate y'all sharing a little bit of your life with me to come and watch this video. So thanks for having me. Thanks for being the reason I am in front of the camera. Because honestly, if I was doing this for me, I would just buy fragrances and wear them for myself. So I'm doing this for you guys too. Y'all, you know, a lot of y'all are like family, you know, and I apologize for not coming and talking to y'all more often. So on that note, I'm going to bid y'all adieu. Y'all have a good day. I hope to see y'all again real soon, or I hope that y'all can see me again real soon. I'll put some links down in the comments to some cool groups on Facebook. I'll be taking one off of my list. I'll do another video, maybe talking about that later. I'll be adding another one, another cool, like really cool Facebook group that I fairly recently became a member of and I'm really enjoying. It's called The Waffle. You know, like you eat waffles, house. And Teddy's got a great group. I enjoy being a part of it, yeah, the interaction with the people, and it's fun. So. And of course, I mention in every every video usually Fragnatics. I'll put links down there. Just great group of guys. And you know, we have old school with TLTG reviews, fragrance lounge, and just groups I'm a part of, and I very much enjoy. And I enjoy knowing y'all are gonna be here watching little old me. Man, I even combed my hair for this video. You can't tell, but I did. See. Have a good day, y'all. Be blessed. See you soon. Peace.